Hi friends, Miss Ellen's Lighthearted Learning here today. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Today I have a lesson that you're going to enjoy. It's going to go with the story, Who Stole the Cookies from the Cookie Jar? And in Who Stole the Cookies from the Cookie Jar, this story is a special story because it's actually a chant. A chant is a story or some saying that has a rhythm. It has a rhythm. It goes in a rhythm. Sort of like if you ever have done Tutti Ta by Dr. Jean. Or if you're doing double dutch or jump roping, sometimes you say something with the rhythm. Doesn't have a melody, just a rhythm. So we're going to do this chant today. Or I'm going to. You can, you can participate if you'd like. The other special words that we're going to learn today is, well, you probably already know them, is subtraction. Now, subtraction is when something goes away and your number gets smaller usually. All right, unless you're doing zero and that's a different lesson. We're not gonna do that one today. All right, so we're gonna work on subtraction. So as we go, something is going to be going away and you might already know what it is. Now, the next special word we're gonna talk about is a mystery. This is a mystery chant. So we don't really know who is taking those cookies from the cookie jar. So we have to solve that mystery. So that's what we're gonna look into as we read today. All right? Okay, so, um, and then at the very end, I have a little home activity for you. All right? So the name of the story is, Who Stole the Cookie from the Cookie Jar? And this is illustrated by Christine Schneider. Christine Schneider is the one who, who illustrated this story. See all the cookies? They're going to disappear. Here we go. All right. Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Doggy stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yes, you. Couldn't be. Then who? Did you hear the chant? Da, 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 da. All right, here we go. I was playing in the den when I noticed there were 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, it's such a pity. It must have been the, what do you guess? The kitty. Oh, it rhymes. Did you hear that, boys and girls? All right, here we go. Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Kitty stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yes, you. Couldn't be. Then who? I was playing with the vine when I noticed there were nine. A missing cookie isn't funny. It must have been the... Bunny! Bunny. Bunny, who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Bunny stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yes, you. Couldn't be. Then who? I was lounging in my crate when I noticed there were eight. I think I must have heard cookie crunching from the bird. Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Birdie stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yes, you. Couldn't be. Then who? I was flying up toward heaven when I noticed there were seven. Stealing cookies takes some pluck, so it must have been the duck. Duck. Who stole the cookies from, who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Ducky stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yes, you. Couldn't be. Then who? I was practicing new tricks when I noticed there were six. Eat a cookie how I wish, but it must have been the fish. Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Fishy stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yes, you couldn't be, then who? 
I was in a deep sea dive when I noticed there were five. Cookie crimes are very big. Must have been the guinea pig. <laughs> Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Guinea stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who me? Yes, you couldn't be. Then who? I was rolling on the floor when I noticed there were four. I don't eat cookies when I jog, so it must have been the frog. Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Froggy stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who me? Yes, you couldn't be. Then who? I was munching on a bee when I noticed there were three stolen cookies in the house. It must have been the mouse. Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Mousy stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who me? Yes, you couldn't be. Then who? I was hiding in the shoe when I noticed there were two. Stealing cookies is very bad, so it must have been... Dad! <laughs> Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Daddy stole the cookie from the cookie jar. I confess I ate the cookies and it wasn't very fair. So to make it up to you, I guess I'll have to share. He's sharing that cookie with everybody. See that? Oh, did we solve the mystery? Do we know who stole the cookies from the cookie jar? It was dad. <laughs> it was dad. All right, boys and girls. So we solved the mystery. Now, did you notice in the story, as we read the story, the cookies disappeared? So that's called subtraction. When one goes away, one goes away. First there were 10, and then we took one away. 10 minus one equals nine. And then nine, there were nine cookies, and then one went away. Nine minus one equals eight and so on throughout the entire story. So cookies disappear and that's like subtraction. All right, boys and girls? Now, for your home activity, what I would like you to do is to do some counting. Now, counting forward is like addition. It's like adding one more every time, okay? So what I want you to do is get a toy that has a lot of little pieces like Legos or Shopkins and grab a whole bunch of them and then count forward and see how high you can count without skipping. And if you skip a couple, ask somebody to help you, somebody who's a good counter to help you with the ones that you skip. All right. Now, if you can go forwards to really high numbers, then I want you to work backwards. And that is like subtraction. Going backwards is like taking one away each time. So that's subtraction, all right? So see how high you can count forward and how well and how high you can count from a number down to one or zero, okay? Because that's subtraction. All right, have fun with that, my friends, and I'll see you next time.